Welcome to Gamers Rise Up on Extremely.Live. We are here with Sam Schild and Millicent Osnes. I am Micah Rock and Roll, and this is the foremost gaming culture podcast on the planet. <laughs> what is up? Oh, uh, uh, not a lot. <laughs> I got home from work, you... like, with two minutes to spare. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to finish my song. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. And open a Red Bull. Crack them. Rack them and crack them. Oh, my God. You don't want to know how many I've had of these today. <laughs> Are you, like, always having heart palpitations? <laughs> I am, and you know, if it wasn't for the fact that I just got an EKG and they said, "You're good, girl." Oh, good. I wouldn't be doing this. Good. Yeah. yeah. So got to stay nice healthy. and healthy for the pod. Yeah, the yeah. lady said you should probably drink so many Red Bulls. <laughs> you have that cool rare blood Red type Bull. that needs Red Bull. Yeah, and then she <laughs> high fived me. <laughs> that could be a cool uh cool red bull sweepstakes is uh you win like a free ekg just to make sure your heart's going just, good and like a diabetes test because i haven't <laughs> had a diabetes test and i am worried i eat a lot of cookies <laughs> mm. i One had a whole box cookies. of peanut m ms today oh man i bought a thing of oreos for the first time in a long time I ate the entire thing by myself, like a sleeve a day until it was gone. Oh, my God. Felt so bad about myself. No, (laughs) yeah, I did that. I Well, I had a video that I was making where it was like a video of me dipping cookies in rotten milk and eating it. (laughs) And it wasn't real rotten milk. Like, (laughs) not real. That's fine. But... I kept buying Oreo cookies waiting for this milk to rot <laughs> because I just had this like th- this uh, um, quart of half and half just on the table and I would like burp it every once in a while so it wasn't as fun. <laughs> <laughs> but burp. I was like waiting oh for it to rot. <laughs> That's so funny. <sighs> and I was waiting for it to rot to the point where it would clump out of the, the oh. thing. And then I, but in the meantime, I just kept buying Oreos thinking that this was the pack that was going to do it. (laughs) And so I did go through like three packs of double stuff Oreos (laughs) Hell before the milk was rotten. Oh man. What are your favorite gamer snacks? Have we talked about this before? I feel like Mm. we maybe talked about drinks. I've been slam. I've been oh hell yeah, Doritos are absolute classic. I uh, mm-hmm. I've been grabbing um, Jelly Belly jelly beans recently, Ooh. and okay. uh, the the fruit bowl mix, and they have a pear uh, jelly bean that's insane. Oh, that's my favorite oh, wow. one. It's like no, it's, I would buy bulk of that. I'm I was blown away. They're really yummy it's and cool it's guys. it's like one of those fruit flavors where it very accurately like nails the flavor of a pear rather than like yeah. Yeah. like a, a cherry candy doesn't actually like really taste like a cherry, you know, but like this Not actually really, no. tastes like a fucking pear and I was I was I fucking love the pear. I'm so mm. happy that there's someone else out there that fucks with the pear jelly beans <laughs> so much because it's the best flavor. Uh, next to Tutti it's Fruity, super good. which is not a flavor. So Tutti good. Fruity. I saw they had a pack mm-hmm. of Tutti good. Fruity only, and I was tempted to to grab those. You should next time. Ooh, it's like the sweetest one, which is probably why it's my favorite. Nice. It's really sweet. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm in. Uh, I just can- got. No, go for it. Go for it. What? No, no, no. I just got bubblegum Italian ice. Ooh, how's that? At the bodega, so good. Oh my god, it's a game changer. It fucked me over because I can't find it any 
more. <laughs> So Do you ever uh, grab those uh, mamitas, like uh, flavored ices, in like a tube at the bodegas? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are super good. Local when product. Kid, uh, so good. When I was a kid, I would eat so many of those, I'd have cuts on either <laughs> side of my mouth because of the plastic. That's funny. I, I remember. Love sugar so much. Yeah. Yeah, I remember in uh, middle school, they would sell uh, Italian ices in the tubes in the uh, lunch line. And some kids at my table would uh, see who could deep throat the <laughs> Italian ices the furthest. <laughs> and it was and always, always like won. the most. Yeah, it was always like the most homophobic kids. Like, <laughs> of course. How far. And so you just imagine like a bunch of like kids sitting at a table like. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Then there's like that one kid with a gag match. with no gag reflex and it just like loses it. <laughs> the sword swallower. Oh, yeah. That. That's so funny. Back in the uh back in the days where I would spend my Saturdays at uh, Jimmy Jams, the comic book store in Winona, I would get sour Skittles. And sour Skittles just like feel in your mouth like something you're not supposed to eat. So they're these like <laughs> hard rusty that you know your teeth is like it's gonna take a yeah. toll on your body but yeah it's eroding so worth it every time <laughs> the, the america the plethora of hyper processed foods that are available to you in america is quite something there's uh it <laughs> truly i love nerds when mm. i was a little kid you were like nerds. oh yeah so, yeah, yeah. I would eat, what is I would eat, oh, the banana runts. Yeah. That's my favorite mm. candy. Those are fun, too. You can buy just the banana runts, just so you know, and I have multiple times. Nice. And Hell yeah. Hell really good. yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Big old bowl of all those candies we mentioned. Just diving in, the three of us, movie oh night. God. Oh, boy. Uh, mm. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Speaking yeah. of movies, um, I'm excited for this. Uh, I didn't realize it. You ever realize after the fact that you're a, a fan of a thing when you realize you've gone to like every like Godzilla <laughs> for me? I see like almost every Godzilla movie, but I don't like talk me, about Godzilla or like I don't really that, identify was... as a Godzilla guy. Go ahead. Go ahead, <laughs> Sam. I was just going to say for me, that's uh, Bukaki. <laughs> I didn't kind of place that <laughs> i was but i was watching it so much um, <laughs> you're like uh i'm a bukkake <laughs> like, well, guy i, know, I guess a i'm a fan <laughs> I really hey i it. stand okay, well, bukkake <laughs> <laughs> um planet of the apes i'm excited for this new uh planet mm. of the apes movie oh. looks fun yeah uh got decent for their, uh, hunting too. Yeah, it's where they're hunting humans, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. So, like, take me through the progression. So, at some point, like, I feel like 10 movies ago, the apes won. (laughs) Um, And now they're, now they're like, I think this is, uh, so I just recently, uh, torrented all of them, (laughs) starting from the originals. Uh, and this new one in theaters is the tenth Planet of the Ape movie. Exactly. It's too many. It's is a this, lot. Is it's this lot. the one where one start with the Wahlberg one way back? Uh or no. Is that that that, uh, that different... one has been rejected from the canon of? Uh, oh, okay. Of at least for the bad? new ones. Uh. It was okay. uh, weird. Yeah, I remember not really being that into it, to be honest. Mm. Um, not that that's a that scene where take. Wahlberg wasn't there. That scene where Wahlberg uh, called one of the Vietnamese apes a slur and then blinded him. <laughs> yeah, was that they? It was weird. They did that scene like eight times. Like they just had variations yeah. of that same scene. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting choice by the director. <laughs> I, I don't know what. Uh, I thought it was cool. I don't know what Tim Burton was going for, but it just didn't speak to America. <laughs> I think it's this woke bullshit. Personally. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. yeah all the Wasn't people that... that were in Nam died. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Wait, but wasn't that, um, I know it's been rejected from the canon, but wasn't that a part of the same generation, or is there like two reboot series? I think of the Apes? that one feels like, it, I, I, you know, I can't remember, I haven't watched it in so long, but I assume that one was a reboot, and then this one is, uh, this latest uh, slew were, um, they're kind of, I don't know, they, they, they don't, match up with the originals whatsoever it's like a totally oh, different concept okay. i'm seeing here that tim burton's the Wahlberg one was 2001 mm -hmm. and then rise of the planet of the apes which is the first of this modern one came out in 2011 yeah so yeah part of how the, many uh, different iterations of rise or like planet of the apes like in terms of the movie titles, do they all involve Planet of the Apes? They so do. Like I'm going to read them the to you fall? right now. You ready? Okay. All right, here yeah. we go. Let me get a. Let me open my Planet of the Apes folder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the first one is just called Planet of the Apes, 1968. Yeah. Uh, the next one I believe is Conquest. Or no, 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 no. no sorry, excuse me. Uh, the next one is Beneath the Planet of the Apes, 1970. Mm -hmm. Then Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, 1972. Then Battle for the Planet of the Apes, 1973. <laughs> and that's the original uh, uh, run. And then you have the 2001 reboot, Planet of the Apes. Uh, and then... You have 2011 Rise of the Planet of the Apes. And then we move on to which one? There's one more. Uh, uh, I guess it's, where, let me see here. Uh, War for the Planet of the Apes, 2017. I feel like there's one more I'm missing. I feel like you already said that one. Wait, and then there's. Oh, oh, yeah. Dawn. Oh, no. It's Dawn of Dawn. the Planet Dawn. of the Apes. Then War. Of the, for the planet of the Apes. isn't dawn and rise kind of synonyms well, they're Very pushing similar. it with that yeah you're yeah. right are they the same movie too could probably. be probably it's could interesting be. though seen them. the Wahlberg <laughs> one the 2001 has the same like design on the title so i think you're technically a part of like this i know it's been rejected yeah sort mm -hmm. of like uh the the hulk movie or whatever oh now, yeah just just out of curiosity, and this, you know, just a little off topic, do, which which one has a Sibian? Because I think <laughs> there's got to be one with a Sibian. <laughs> oh, the um, first because one, I know believe that, it or not. Okay. That was, well, because uh, I know that once, like, one of the first things you do when you colonize an entire race and then take over, like, the civilization is you get the the aqueducts going, electricity, and then you get the Sibian pumping. Uh, so, yeah, just wondering when that happened in the canon. But. What a... What, Sibian, to me, is synonymous with uh, Howard Stern. Do you remember there was like a... He would just be like... Yes, you'd have a guest in, the and speaker. then he's like, let's get her on the Sibian. <laughs> like, constantly. <laughs> Wait, was that... I'm thinking of the fucking... Is that Porky's, where he like has the girl sit straddle the speaker and he like blows into it or oh my god, oh god. How the fuck? and now and now howard stern is just like interviewing imagine dragons and shit yeah and uh. it's just like that's awesome that's really cool what a career <laughs> what a career that man has but yeah I, I i think i'm intending to go see that this week uh i'm gonna have a an enormous amount of free time. Uh, so, inst yeah, depressing. So instead of uh, getting cracking on my next comic, I'll probably uh, fart around at the movie theater. And I I'm preparing for my unemployment. I bought a pair of Crocs. First ever Croc nice. I've ever Holy bought. Shit. <laughs> you won't go back. Crocs are like bidets. You, uh, once you go croc you'll never go back do you have crocs you need to just like yeah baby i got yellow ones hell yeah mm. i when i bought them i went to a stranger a couple two strangers that we were dating and i was like 
orange or yellow? And they were like, <laughs> yellow. And I was like, thanks. <laughs> and I don't think they wanted me to talk to them, but it, I did. And they just thought like you were trying Times to be the Square. third <laughs> in Times <Yeah>. Square. <laughs> It was just the Croc store in Times Square, and I was, like, pretty high because I had bought a joint for $20, like, a half mm. gram joint in Times Square. Mm. And, like, granted, like, yeah, sure, Times Square. But I was, like, pretty stoned, and I'm like, this is a good thing. Gonna ask strangers. <laughs> you bought Crocs, do me wrong. $20 joint, and then you spent $50 on a bowl of spaghetti at the, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh... Oh, why am I blanking? When you hear your family. Olive Garden. Olive Garden. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, you my know, brain. I shove a bunch of breadsticks on my butt. <laughs> As you, you do. You know what you could have done? You know what you could have done is you could have put the joint in one of the holes, taped all the other <laughs> holes, and then lit the joint, sucked the smoke through the foot. Yeah. Through the foot hole. And I did. Genius. I okay. bonked okay. my crock. <laughs> and I burnt them, and I had to buy a new pair, and it was I was ashamed. <laughs> but I, I remember did, I did do it with the Spider Man. Spider Man oh, on Times Square. Right. <laughs> yeah, the one that like Just... harasses you and steals your yeah. money. Convicted sex offender <laughs> Spider Man on Times yeah. Square. Yeah. I'd like to see. I'd like to see him unmasked. I'd like to see what <laughs> oh, disgusting mug is. No. under that so there's this weird guy who does this dog like dresses like this dog but like a raggedy dog <laughs> in boulder and like you know it's his costume he run like crawls on the ground and like rolls around <laughs> so it's like a fucking disgusting like <laughs> tattered dog outfit oh, and just like the kids love him dog. that's amazing mm-hmm. like uh-huh. And I've seen him without the mask, and I would not get anywhere near this man. Like, I would <laughs> run screaming. I would, like, grab all of the children and be like, no, you don't know what this is. He's a freak. God, That's you don't understand. Under that dog mask, he is very unattractive. Okay. Yeah, he's a ugly you, seen... you shouldn't be giving him money. That's right. Have you seen... Those like really expensive, detailed like dog costumes that people wear that like look, and when they get on all fours, they like sort of look like yeah, a dog, but it's, it's so kind of crazy. uncanny. Yeah, that's awesome. That's like the new furry. Yeah, like mm-hmm. hyper realistic. Uh-huh. It's like uh, yeah, you combine just, that like, with try those... and get a real dog. <laughs> yeah. Oh like, yeah. Those stilt stilt. <laughs> Things. Oh, I love uh, the stilt things. Creepy. I want to be a stilt thing person. <laughs> stilt thing person. God. And they like terrify children. <laughs> yeah. They are I freaky. already do. I'm halfway there. The first time I saw Just that was uh, what's that old movie? Uh, the Jim Henson movie. Uh, oh, Labyrinth. Damn it. No. Labyrinth. No. Uh, Crystal. Labyrinth? Crystal, there you go. The Dark crystal. crystal. They have uh, crystal. they have like still stilt creatures. It's pretty cool. Oh. Did Fun I stuff. tell you I know how to walk on stilts? Really? Yeah, because wow. my mom would make me as a child. I think we we had a pair of parades. stilts, like regular stilts, right? Or like the one where you <laughs> no, hold them, or the, the ones you would oh, strap shit. onto your feet. And okay, it I've was never like, done that. Probably. Yeah, I like, like how you said that, feet. like as if. <laughs> Like how you said we had a pair of stilts, as if we're like a pair of skis. We had some stilts around. <laughs> for when we I'm needed to make a buck. My and... stick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah we, we had. We were this... just practicing circus shit in the street. <laughs> you like got a hula hoop, there... juggling. <laughs> there's a there's a talent show at my high school, and. Um, this kid had like a pogo stick or two, and he was known as like he had done his pogo thing before and <laughs> he, his routine was going great and then like he did this thing where he was gonna like pogo off the this little <laughs> step thing and he was like absolutely oh. ate shit oh, no. and there's just this kind of dark moment of confused silence but everyone was still trying to cheer him on uh, <laughs> and yeah. he broke he was, he's still a paraplegic <laughs> Yeah. They were yeah. like, you go, Greg. 
That's like a feels like mm-hmm. a fun scene a movie, like a kid absolutely <laughs> killing it at a pogo, like pogo stick routine at a school uh, talent fair, and then you just he just eats it and you just smash cut to a funeral. <laughs> like it's just oh like so the worst possible thing that could happen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we'll get over this. We are Marshall. We are Marshall. <laughs> he would want us to rebuild this park. If, he, <laughs> if his head weren't if his head weren't caved in and turned to mush, you know, he would want us to do this. That's what we need. We need a pogo, a pogo st- stick in the sky. <laughs> yeah, we need a pogo yeah. stick movie, like those like Disney Channel rollerblade movies from back in yes. the day. Yeah. An extreme yeah. pogo yeah. stick film with the pogo stick competition. <laughs> yeah, you have to make be... nationals. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nationals. awesome? <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if Disney like started releasing movies like in the vein of like you know the Air Bud and whatever those dumb sports movies, but to try and like solve the issue of like racism in America. <laughs> like, this dog. I mean, that's pretty much. That's pretty much what. Uh, what was that? Uh, fuck, Denzel Washington, the football movie. Oh yeah, 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 um, yeah. Um, oh, I can't remember either. Uh, uh, we Titans. The remember Titans. Remember the Titans. Remember, yeah, the, remember Titans. the Titans. Yes, that'd be sick. That is exactly what that like, was, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, the nineties. Yep. Powerful uh, time. Powerful time for cinema. Indeed. Oh, man. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What was the other one? Uh, Twister. Yeah. I, I, I think of Twister when I think Dude, of 90s cinema. See, they're making a yeah. Twister sequel. I called saw. Twisters. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah. That's I feel what like, I, I feel like the pendulum is... I feel like the pendulum's ready to swing with like disaster porn movies. Like there was that one with like Tom Holland and uh, what's her name, like the David Lynch actress, where it was like about like this flood and I think Haiti or something. Like I feel like we just need a couple more of those and then we can swing back into like playing baseball to like solve uh, Israel Palestine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I do think that there is like a team. There's like a thing. There is a thing <laughs> where they play Sandlot or reboot is just like <laughs> <laughs> another Sandlot movie, but it's like a, a Zog Sports the movie where it's just like yeah. people of different races coming together after work and sorting their shit out. <laughs> In a if game of Sandlot, kickball, the dog is represented by a U.S. funding. Uh, the military, <laughs> the yeah. military industrial <laughs> complex. <laughs> then Yahoo is like the the guy who owns the dog and like the, like the old <laughs> baseball player. This scary guy. <laughs> uh, Damn. We gotta start a production company. We're full of good ideas. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit! Holy shit! I was oh, talking boy. to a friend and um. He had sent a photo of him, like, with his son's uh, Nerf, Minecraft Nerf gun. And, like, I don't know. They're making, like, crazy shit with the Minecraft things. (laughs) And I was like, next thing you know, they're going to, like, they're capitalizing on this Minecraft shit so much. Next thing you know, there's going to be a Minecraft movie. And he's like, girl, I got something to tell you. There There is. is? Yes, oh and it's my. gonna have Jack Black in it. Oh, that as makes sense. Hell yeah, that, that and it's sounds gonna be right. real people. That really, it's gonna be real people. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. they should just. It's gonna be horrible. They should literally just make the move like footage, in-game footage for the entire movie. <laughs> like, I mean, like, yeah, yeah. That would be <laughs> just so a screen cheap. recording. And then just, yeah. yeah, pay Jack Black. No, just pay Jack Black to. Play Minecraft, <laughs> yeah. and I would watch it. Hundred percent. It's just like 100%. a Twitch stream it's put a on play. theater. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's play. <laughs> that would be fun. I would be into that. 
I would much rather watch Jack Black stream Minecraft. I, I fully than... agree. I want to see yeah. his uh, oh, yeah. crazy <laughs> reaction when a creeper gets him. Right? You're making me want to play. Make a funny noise. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta get back in there. You're right, Sam. We really We've do. been neglecting our little we Minecraft gotta get... town. We gotta check out us... your railroad. Maybe I'll yeah, pop on later. I made us later. a new. I made us a new house with a hot tub. Um, <laughs> it's pretty cool. And I was just, I was just scrolling here. I found this amazing video of a guy shooting himself in the cock. <laughs> I just can't find it. Oh, um, with a nerd oh, gun. It's this. It's a real gun. It's like there's this no. trend of like oh. having. Um, I don't know. I guess just like you know, use it like having a gun and pointing it at your genitalia and like, you know, playing chicken with the trigger and I just oh. can't find the damn clip. <laughs> that's like a thing or Such that's a bummer. one guy being a dumbass. I mean, there are other oh. people who have done it but they like had the wherewithal to not pull it all the way. But this, not actually this fucker did. Shoot their the junk off. The thing that's so hilarious about it is after he does it he yells no oh, <laughs> yeah. it's this unexpected outcome that's so oh, God. God. damn it and why how did you get yeah to this, where did you find like, this Sam? Where well did you i start think my... this, or did you just google it <laughs> yeah. i think my reddit i think reddit just kind of gets me at this point i think they yeah. know the, the sort of yeah, they know the combination of like snuff films and fight videos, and they just <laughs> sort of put together this perfect cocktail or, for cocktail. No. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, but yeah, no, I would love to pull it up and share it with you guys. I'm just not... oh, please don't, please don't. I'm okay. I think I can imagine. Yeah. And I don't even want to. <laughs> I want to stop imagining. Sam, <laughs> change the subject. Um, let's see. No, no, I want to talk more about a guy blowing up his dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to edit this out for YouTube, Sam. Was this live leak? Yeah, there, all these little kids watching our show are going to go look at it. <laughs> yeah. And they're going to have to all go to therapy. <laughs> And do you really want that on your conscience? Let's make gamers you rise up. Be the a, guy? Uh, oh, Sam, you've you've lost your audio. I can't hear you. Yeah, we can't hear you. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, well, oh, he's gone. <laughs> Just you and Soft me now. Soft watch snuff films. <laughs> no, <laughs> Sam, come back. <laughs> he's gone. There he is. So you sorry. good? I don't know what happened there. Uh, it's yeah, all good. It's just... Oh, it's the fucking. Oh, I thought you were eating a Twizzler, Melisande. Uh, oh, I wish. No, it's just a pen. <laughs> you remember but it that? It's a really good pen. Looks good. Is that a, a Muji? It's... it's a Matt Hot Pentel. I got yes. it because I saw a video that it won. A Japanese stationery for best writing. Whoa! Yeah, I still have to make like my a pen competition. Video. That's cool. And honestly, yeah, good stuff. It writes so good. You can come over and use it if you want, my guy. Nice. Really. I yeah. gotta try it out. Yeah, here. Like, let me see if I can show you just how good it is. Are you still looking for that cock murder video, Sam? Oh no, we've lost Sam. No, Sam, he just your your audio's at gone again. Whatever website oh, no. you're on, it's fucking up your settings. Oh my god, it's right. Pornhub. <laughs> We're just gonna hear moans. <laughs> Turns Samuel. out Sam's been watching Pornhub. While recording the podcast the entire time. <laughs> and I wouldn't just put it past him. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay, see, look at this. Look at this. Oh, boy. Oh, wait. 
Okay, ready? Yep. Oh, wait. See, <laughs> it's not working. Oh, no. Blew it. Is, he's gone. Oh, wait. Okay, okay, okay. okay I got it. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks yeah. nice okay. and smooth. Yeah, I can hear okay. you. So sorry. I don't know I what the fuck I was doing an ad. No, that's all I good. just ask you guys, when, have you guys ever tried to play a sexual video game? Let me just put that out there. <laughs> Uh, when I was a lad, there was, uh, I had heard tell of Japanese, like, uh, porno games on the Super Nintendo, and I downloaded a ROM of, like, basically, like, a dating simulator, um, but where the girls show her boobies, and I did play that. Wow. Yeah. Did yeah. you get how far did you have to get into the game till she showed you her boobies? Uh like did you have to work for it or was she just already ready? I think there was you had to get there, I if I recall right. Yeah, just I can't remember. Nice it was a long time ago. I just remember being so horny. Oh my god. Pixelated. Yeah, I did pixelated that, but boobs. I really just looked at uh anime dicks <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. i just googled anime dicks <laughs> anime dicks you went cartoon first to kind of ease your way into the world of flesh <laughs> mm-hmm. and honestly though i gotta say anime sex stuff that's a lot they go crazy with that stuff sometimes. I, I remember like, that's the only back... way I can get off his <laughs> cartoons. It's the only no. way. He just Googles, uh, what is it? Rule. Oh yeah. Yeah. That, I can't where remember. Where if there is, if you can think about it, there's a porn of it. And yeah. so he just like Googles porn, like Scooby-Doo porn. And it's a shitty drawing cartoon. Yeah. Bugs See, Bunny I in drag say, fucking uh, Peter from Family Guy. <laughs> I was just going to say, I've been on a Family Guy porn kit. <laughs> just seeing uh, oh, no. Lois. Just watching Lois. Hopefully not Stewie. <laughs> no. No, just okay. Brian. Just Brian. Yeah. Interspecies. species. <laughs> I don't show it off in the show, but he's got quite a hog. Um, I mean, of <laughs> course, it it's these artists. Hog? It's like veiny, um, not a lot of fur. But, uh, don't let him hog. near a handgun. We know how that's going to go. <laughs> oh, <know>. no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Ryan, put down the gun. <laughs> no, no not down after... there. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. After you shoot your cock off, you know where the next bullet is going. I mean, oh, it's, not, it's not like, oh, no. it's not like let's go to the emergency room. You know, it's like, let's go to heaven. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, I thought not you were going to say right. nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Straight for the nipples. Hoping for a twofer. Shooting for the side. Yeah. Don't get the heart. You want to go and live through that pain. Yeah, oh, I man. I like to imagine this guy who did the cock suicide um, <laughs> goes up to heaven, gets to the pearly gates, and they're like, "So why do you think you deserve this?" And he's like, "Bro, calm on. Dude. Like I've <laughs> been through me. so much I... today." He's and like, "I'm fucking... essentially a eunuch." <laughs> Jesus, come on! I, <laughs> I castrated What's... myself for this, dude. <laughs> Like, Saint honestly, Peter, you're welcome. St. Peter, like, like, really, I feel like if I were at another heaven, like, in America, this wouldn't even be happening to me. So, <laughs> just fucking, fucking make an exception. It sucks that he went to England, heaven, because they're <laughs> yeah. a little bit more strict. Yeah, they don't like gun violence. <laughs> they don't like no. it there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, honestly, America Jesus has an AK-47 Hell and has yeah. already mm-hmm. blown his dick off multiple times. <laughs> but keeps growing a new one. <laughs> Every Easter, 
He <laughs> blows his day. dick off and it grows back. <laughs> And if it doesn't, there will be winter for another six months. I believe that's in the Apocrypha, in the Book of Enoch. Uh, this uh, King James took it out. Uh, remember that game I was telling you about, Near Automata, that I was like, oh, there's savings, like, very few and far between. Yeah. Uh, um, so I, I, I keep replaying the first level because it doesn't let you save until you completely beat the first level. You cannot That's save horrible. whatsoever. And I was like, that. this is why it's super popular with these gamer heads. It's because it's one of those yeah. games that's like punishing and like won't let, it's just like, it feels like it's from another time. I'll give it credit. Mm. I have continued to replay it to try and win i keep getting killed by the boss uh but uh it's testing my patience for sure but i do want to see how many times i have probably played it five times and died every time well how many do you think is too many before you give up because mine is like three yeah I I, i can't get it in three i'm like I'm close to being annoyed with it, but I do want to see what the rest of the game is like. Uh, But it is very frustrating that you can't just, like, fucking save before the boss battle. It's insane. I might drop it down to easy mode, you know, just to, like, fucking just play the game and have fun. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, but games aren't, you're not meant to have fun. Yeah. You're meant to suffer. Absolutely not. Yeah. You, games are like to prove you're um, a badass, not yeah. for inter- yeah. entertainment. I, uh, That's how you ended know you're doing it right. <laughs> I ended up finding another cock shooting video. <laughs> a one, and I'm just, I'm blown away by the. Uh, <laughs> How much do you yeah. see? The text accompanying it, rip DJ's balls, man. Hope you good. <laughs> He's not good. <laughs> not good. Jesus. <laughs> how, wait, how, much, how much do you see in this video? Like a lot or a little? Or like? Oh, come see- on. No, 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 no. no. Don't show. I'm bashful. Oh, there's no... I think, um, I mean, I think it's good for gun safety for kids. <laughs> you know, I think it's the first yeah. thing I'd show them. Sam, um, do you have a 4chan life. account? <laughs> do you ever dig around on 4chan? It is 4chan. You should. I feel like it. you'd love 4chan. <laughs> that, that is such a damning statement. <laughs> I feel like you would love 4chan, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sam's like, you're the fourth person to say that to me today. (laughs) I've poked around on 4chan. It's not all insane stuff. Uh, What is it? It's just like guys shooting themselves in the cock? or No, it's just... But I feel like you could easily find that there if you wanted to. Like, like, I'm Mm -hmm. sure there's like a... 4chan... Merchants to me seems like Tumblr for straight racist boys. (laughs) Um, i think yeah that's part of it but like i have like a friend who's a he's a television writer now but he was a lawyer before that and he loves 4chan swears by it oh my god that's awesome (laughs) swears by it so there's uh there's all kinds of users it is an interesting place i I haven't been on it in years but i knew about 4chan my client my client needs a soft day, okay, <laughs> Your Honor. I swear it's uh, not so all know. that. <laughs> no, I know. He just keeps accidentally calling the judge a non. Honor, anonymous. A non. I found out about Fortune because uh... of uh, something awful forms, where that. Uh, that guy started oh, you're about there. to take is something awful something awful happened to me like oh yeah my parents 
when my parents were executed in front of me. And, well, that too. And, uh, my dad no. shot his balls off. <laughs> yeah. and I had to go yeah. to 4chan to figure out how to save him. Gotta patch him up. Turns out you have to suck Get the yourself. poison out. <laughs> That's what he told Get me. Get yourself some uh, poison. <laughs> the gun gotta get that first aid spray. <laughs> oh Lord! I uh, was a friend of the show, Manolo, um, the other day, and we were gonna. We were talking about. Uh, we were getting drunk together, <laughs> and we were yeah. talking about uh, Action Burger because I've always wanted to go there. But then I was talking, and Action Burger for the listeners is a restaurant where you eat burgers and you can there's like a tv at your table and you can play like halo 2 and he said uh it's it's quote predictably grimy yeah and i thought i thought wouldn't it be cool if you took the grime out of the crevices of used controllers <laughs> and collected mm -hmm. them and made like a and made like a condiment a sauce <laughs> a sauce of no. sorts um, gamer spread. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> game. <laughs> That's even grosser than like shooting your cock off. You're on a roll, I know, Sam. I, like, I didn't think you could top it. <laughs> you yeah, got to get your ass on delivery. 4chan. <laughs> I know, I know. He, Mola said one of the places uh, has like wet wipes right next to the... Um, <laughs> To the tables, which is no. like obviously a necessary, a necessary no. thing. Yeah. Now you what go wipes from... only are for barbecue joints. That's <laughs> it. If you need a wet wipe yeah. for any other food, get out of there. I mean, I feel like wet wipes exclusively wipe off like really nasty shit, like either like gamer cum or piss <laughs> or blood. You know, there's not. I mean, the barbecue, that's interesting. I didn't even think about that. That's it's interesting. the only place. The only food place. Yeah. How many burgers do you think they have that have Cheetos in them? <laughs> I, A lot. Confession cool. time. Cool. I've been to Action okay. Burger. And, wow. Uh, uh -huh. Nolo's correct. It is grimy. And unfortunately, I did not like the burgers whatsoever, which is... What I'm yeah. confused about... What I'm important. confused about is where the fuck, where the fuck did they make them? Because every time I look in Action Burger, there's like one or two. There's like a cute couple. Uh, usually they're both nerds uh, playing uh, a video game, but then there's no one else there to be found that like works there. <laughs> so I'm wondering if it's just a guy with like a gamer setup that like is in the back slinging <laughs> bacon burgers on his George Foreman or like, I don't know. It could be the, in, the lack of infrastructure. <laughs> is, um, yeah. It's a weird place. Interesting to me. Strangely enough, Manolo you know, and I went to this other spot. I think it's called eight bit bites, which is uh, oh, yeah. same exact idea. We were, uh, I think we were shooting something for a club video. And we drove by it. Um, much better food. Same idea. Um, I, I think, think they also had Manolo wet wipes. got ill. <laughs> oh, he did? <laughs> yeah, that's... I don't know, but he gets ill after a lot of food. He I could see He probably has it. a couple allergies he I hasn't figured it. out yet. Yeah. Manolo, like, you would think just because, you know, like, he's, like shorter that he wouldn't be able to drink that much but he can fucking he can put them away like it's pretty it's pretty incredible like i'm i'm not saying he has a problem or anything no, God the damn, he's does a champion. like he's fucking God, he's like a vacuum um i love him i love him to death um i actually have a funny story uh, i mean he's I don't know short I, but rotund <laughs> oh my god there it is um and i mean i think i think uh, he stores i think a lot of the space for the alcohol alcohol goes in a huge hog of his uh, yeah i think Honestly, that's a good sort of reservoir. <laughs> yeah it goes straight in there um i have a funny so i needed to get a new um ps5 controller the other day oh, because boy. i thought a buddy was gonna come and i wanted to have two and uh i went to gamestop and every time i go into gamestop 
there's some character negotiating with the two game <laughs> employees. Like, and this time it wasn't as funny, but I like how it's always like someone trying to seem like not a typical GameStop customer. They're like, so like, uh, you know what? Um, I'm supposed to have like, what is it? It's called like store credit or something, right? Or like they're trying to like act like they're not like they've never been in there before, but clearly they have like racked up a lot of points. One time, a guy, I think I may have said this on the pod before, maybe I just told it to Mike or something, but one time a guy uh, was like not accepting the fact that he didn't have any more credit and just kept kind of grandstanding, being like, my net worth is like. A hundred out ten million dollars, oh and God. you guys can't. You guys can't tell me different. So I like <laughs> Jedi Survivor, and it's just like, oh no! Hey. Every time I go into GameStop, I'm just expecting either a mom with like her son, and the mom is always like some small, small woman, and her son is always like a of mice and men, <laughs> Lenny type character, and um. Always like it, like be trying to like not look like a complete loser, but also like you know, like mom. We're losing a lot of up. listeners. <laughs> mom, just fucking, just don't ask. Because mom's always like, now what do I really get out of this credit situation? I just want to make sure because I'm going to be coming in here. This is not going to be my last rodeo. <laughs> um, this fucker plays games all the goddamn time. <laughs> Yeah. You can't get them off the thing. I should say I almost lost the house because of some game called Roblox. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But there's always some negotiating. And it's like, I wish we could just kind of admit. It's like, guys, we're, su- we're surrounded by, like, different costumes of Han Solo. Like, I think we can pretty much just admit that we're in GameStop. You know? <laughs> we're in GameStop. Stop trying to, yeah, like we're all, we all have points, dude. Who are yeah. you trying yeah. to flex in front of? There's yeah. no girls yeah. in here, dude. Yeah. <laughs> God. So you got points. God I got it. points. Let's just get through this. <laughs> Wait, can you barter there? I think you can try, but yeah. I mean, there's okay. no... I've never been allowed in. <laughs> I smell too good. <laughs> Banned. They GameStop, say you got the wrong gonna be, place. <laughs> you go to GameStop, people are going to be sniffing at you. Like people are going to be. It's yeah. not going to. It's not going to end well. So. Yeah, no, they're like the forest across the street, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, no, I Get want a game. Here, bitch. <laughs> it's like a giant Keep Iron Man in the window. <laughs> God, how much uh, does a, a PS4 controller run you? But that's eighty. PS5, bucks. it's like, it's like uh, I had some points, so it was only fifty-four. Nice. But I think it's that's a used one, and it retails like sixty something or seventy or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Controllers are rough. Even even the Nintendo yeah. Switch's controllers are expensive. Really. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That's horrible. Well, like Nintendo get... Switch likes to fuck you. Yep. You can't get third party ones anymore. Like, it used to be you could get like a Mad Cats controller that would never work, but it was yeah. like, you know, $20. You just give it to your shittiest friend. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you get the Mad Cats. It, Mad Cats are the it's fucking like the home... worst. <laughs> It's like the home field advantage when you're playing like Mortal Kombat. It's like, yeah, yeah I got my custom character. You get the Mad Cats where the Xbox button is just a sticker. <laughs> God, I hated those controllers so much. God, what are you? Uh, what were you planning on playing with your bro? Rocket. League, baby. Oh shit! Otherwise that's free to play now. The game. That's right. Otherwise known as the Finance Bro Quarter Life Crisis game. Really? Yeah. 
You get home from work, you drug your wife so she doesn't <laughs> wake up and remind you to be an adult, and you just play Rocket League. Hell yeah. Rocket and League has I'm glad that goal. didn't go as bad as I thought it was going to go. <laughs> when you said drug your wife, I went, ah! <laughs> Every single day. Yeah, every day. Just put her to sleep. That, give looking, her a nice you nap. Know, I was looking into buying like a sex doll companion but the thing is is you can't manipulate them you know you can't <laughs> betray them um you that's the best part them. yeah you can't <laughs> hurt them emotionally um to kind of turn it off but, you know there's some person that, that... that reads books about abuse and is like mm, <laughs> let's take notes yeah i'll try that <laughs> I'm reading like the body keeps the score, and I'm like, wow, there's some great <laughs> hidden gems this in here. This used to really work. <laughs> Can't wait to hit the bars with this one. Uh, oh, God. Uh, just... Do you, you could try it out on uh, um, ch the new chat GPT. Did you see that? Holy shit. They made it. That can't be real, right? I, I feel like it's got to be a juiced up demo, they right? They everything. Yeah. They yeah. Think everything. I feel like it's faked. <clears throat> Wait, what is it that I haven't seen? They basically made ChatGPT a, a girl you can hang out with. Like, it just talks to you and, and flirts with you and very fast. And, it's, and there's it's no like, boy. Not the option they showed. Yeah. yeah. See? We need to get women into engineering and, <laughs> or whatever the it, fuck these people are. And I think we just need more. Get some hot hunks. Hunk mode. We just need, more, need more gay guys. We need more gay guys in tech because, I mean, like, <laughs> have you ever heard of that? Like a startup that is started up by people that aren't like sociopathic, straight, hetero guys. Like, I feel like <laughs> if it could just, I mean, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. I think the start point, but <laughs> yeah, I feel like this this new one is like Spike Jones her level of detail. It seemed juiced up. Yeah, I would I would assume, but uh, pretty interesting. I did like their mm -hmm. uh, demonstration of like using it as like a coding companion. Got me excited to get back. Get back in the coding the first saddle. woman in STEM. <laughs> <laughs> the I didn't know you coded. Oh, man. I what didn't you know you were Sam? a coder. I'm not. I just did, like, dabbled for making a game when I was making that little yeah. level. Oh, you don't yeah, need yeah. to know anymore. Just get that bitch to do it. I guess so. Straight up. Make me At a game. At least Hmm. Funny, like you know. I feel like people in college who like had like a sociology major or something, like you check in with them like four years later and it's just their coders, you know. <laughs> it, what the fuck are you gonna do? <laughs> like with the uh, Yeah. I mean yeah. you could say the same about my degree. Would you go to college for your degree? Creators tend to just draw porn. <laughs> Oh, yeah, art? You actually, I mean, there were a few. You, you actually, like, produce, you actually do shit, Melisande. You actually, like, have a good I outfit. I don't sell anything. That's I not true. I witnessed people buying ass. your uh, earrings mere weeks ago. That's true. But, yeah, that's true. We got to grow our it's audience true. so they can. Uh, it's true. Buy my shit. Please. Yeah, Maslow. Come X, to my Z. apartment. <laughs> come to my apartment, and I'll show you some stuff I have in a drawer, and you can buy it. You can't see it anywhere yeah. else. Haven't even put it on Instagram. Sometimes I put it on my stories, but how are you gonna see it? I really like. So I put a lot of work into these videos, like the one where I eat rotten milk, and it's probably just gonna be a story. And I'm like, all right, that. <laughs> NFT. <laughs> Gotta upgrade Monetize that to a reel. Oh yeah, make it yeah, an NFT. Honestly, right. I bet I bet it is a fetish. 
I yeah. made. Uh, There's at least one person out there that thinks it's hot. I made an NFT a million years ago. Uh, mm. Did you know this, what Sam? Did I showed you this? It is. Uh, you know that gif so. of of um, Winnie the Pooh like slamming his arm into honey and like oh, eating it. Oh yes. So I took that you gif. Show me this. And yeah, I took that gif. I made the honey white so it looks like cum. And I said, all my eggs is be like. <laughs> it's just in like. Oh, oh, <laughs> just no. housing a bot of cum. <laughs> and uh, I have yet to sell my NFT. That what? is so weird. That is so bizarre. Yeah, if you're interested, go to OpenSea.io. But that's so good. <laughs> Wait, wait, can I look it up right now? <laughs> you might be able to. Yeah, give it no. a shot. I believe my yeah, uh, user icon... To do. Yeah, I believe my user icon is uh, Jordan Peterson standing in front of a rack of anime figurines. <laughs> God. Oh, God boy. damn it. I love that uh, Instagram thing. I think it's like, I think people have kind of been passionate around, but it's this guy who like paints like oh, yeah. demonic, <laughs> demonic images of Jordan Peterson. Yeah. And then he posts these comments where it seemed like Jordan Peterson wouldn't like your style. It's too dark. And then it cuts to Jordan Peterson, like admiring his work with him. And it's like the badass music, like yeah. alpha music playing. What? <laughs> it's the fucking weirdest shit. You gotta send that to me. That I don't believe you. <laughs> no, yeah, I will. We'll send it. It's we'll a real it. one. God, it's so it cool. It is real. Oh uh, my god. I, I wonder what kind of email. It's like Jordan Peterson. I will give you thirty-five thousand dollars <laughs> to come to my studio and like make two TikToks with me. <laughs> Stare and nod at this fucked up painting I did of you. <laughs> I'd love to see Jordan Peterson's porn history because you know it's sick. You know it's depraved. I could only imagine. Actually, I like a family guy tune porn. <laughs> so uh, I, uh, I, I grabbed a new game the other day. You want to hear about this? Yeah. Shit. So, I know what we're fifty minutes in. <laughs> yeah, I gotta talk about another game. I uh I follow this YouTuber slash Twitch streamer called Dunkey. You know Dunkey, Sam? He's pretty funny. Oh, absolutely. Oh, did you buy his new uh what's it called? The new game that just came out. Yeah, he formed a video game publisher and he published Animal Well. Uh, which is a quote unquote Metroidvania, which uh, I, you know, I w recently went on a rant about Metroidvanias, how I wish not all platformers were Metroidvanias. But I really like uh, Donkey. I think he's a funny guy. And I assumed that the video game he, he also has, we have similar taste in games. We like the same kind of stuff. So I gave it a shot. It's called Animal Well. And uh, it's pretty dang cool. I'm, uh, I think I've probably got like an hour and a half in. Not that far. But um, I would describe the graphics as highly evolved Atari graphics. They're very interesting. Like very like bright color uh, pixel line art, line art on a black background. Like old school Atari. But like uh, way, yeah. way, way fancier. Uh, and the music's fantastic it's it feels uh like you're it, it, i would say i would compare it to twin peaks the music is nice. eerie and like immersive and the whole game is cool. kind of spooky um and a little like just a a tinge of creepiness like you feel like you're down in the dark dank sewers of some weird world um now, I haven't gotten very far, but I'm really enjoying it. It's very fun, uh, very simple. You're just a little blob guy, and all you can do is jump, uh, and you collect little items that you can use. Like, 
you can throw firecrackers you find at things that are, like creatures that are in your way and scare them out of your way and things like that you get a bubble wand you can blow a bubble and then hop on the bubble and mm-hmm. then hop and then use that as like a platform uh, those are the only now, two i've gotten now, but it's fun now bubble wand isn't that also used to refer to like a sloppy cock mid blow job <laughs> bubble wand blowing bubbles <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'll I'll email Dunkey and, and, and ask him. Hey, my friend Sam and I were talking. Um, Not a good pitch for you. I was just wondering if you considered this, um, or if have this was like maybe an of, Easter egg, or <laughs> have you ever thought of making it worse? <laughs> I Pretty know good. That you uh, want to make this accessible, <laughs> but maybe don't. Have you ever Have gotten you like heard really of great? 4chan? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Have you ever thought about making 4chan into a game? <laughs> It'll just crash your computer, and give yeah. you a virus, and it's just, it just turns everything you can see into a dick. Mm. Sounds With awesome. an STD. <laughs> That immediately it gets shot like... off. Yes. <laughs> and you have to watch yeah. the whole thing. The I game comes that. with Dang. special glasses that pry your eyelids open. Yeah, you can't take them off until <laughs> it's done. I love this God. guy loading a pistol, shooting <laughs> his cock, and then saying, Oh! <laughs> It's horrible. And do you see in that video, because I know the one you no. showed us was absolutely horrible, but in the you one don't. you're talking about, you also see or no? You don't you see, see, like, it's POV, so Ugh. it's like POV. You don't see, like, blood or anything, but you do see the hole that it leaves in the sweatpants. Uh. Um, and then he uh, just yells no, which I just think is so... Uh, it's so funny, and in my tabs so over here. Fun. A Google so search. A Google this... search for a guy shoots cock. God. <laughs> I was trying to find it. Sam, are you in a good place? Are you all right? You good? I are, think, is that door locked mean... behind you from the outside? Yeah. Every time I open that door, it's just open that door it's just a wall of tv noise static, <laughs> and i can't go out and well, if i put a foot out saw. yeah and if i put a foot out my foot just comes out of the computer screen here and i can't it's, it's inescapable like, like portal the game portal yeah <laughs> oh. oh boy i finished the daredevil run did i tell you that oh cool no. There's Very a reference. Good. Who's, who's the artist or who's the writer for that again? Uh, Frank Miller's the writer and the penciler. And then I believe, uh, I can't remember who the inker is, but eventually I think it becomes David Mazzucchelli or something okay. like that. Or I don't remember. But yeah, very fun. Pure entertainment, baby. Mm-hmm. Worth it. Yeah. Frank Miller Daredevil run. Look it up, people. I'm also almost finished with yet another Robert E. Howard uh, uh, novella. He's uh, the creator of uh, Conan the Barbarian. Let me tell you something, folks. Mm. If you're trying to, you're feeling bad about your reading habits, you're trying to read a little more. If you're listening to this show and you like uh, genre entertainment, Get on your Kindle or whatever and get yourself a Robert E. Howard full collection for like a dollar ninety nine or like a Conan compilation for a dollar ninety nine. Whatever. These are and pulp pulp stories from the mid to late twenties into the thirties, and they're all excellently written and extremely fun. Very entertaining. Fast, quick, and you'll be able to tell people you're reading. <laughs> That's right. And it's really good. This was long. 
This and these stories were written long before cock shots were even invented. <laughs> so, and if you're not uh, you a know. fucking nerd, you can listen to a book on audio for free. You can Ooh. listen to the Britney Spears uh, biography. Smart. For free uh, on Spotify. You're welcome. Hell yeah! I What's love that called? Spotify so added audiobooks. That shit's awesome. It's amazing. It is I just heard about it today page. is all. And it's yeah. the first time I've even thought about getting near a book <laughs> in years. <laughs> I'm using three uh, books right now, and it's just for my laptop. <laughs> for your anime oh, videos. Yes. Oh. Actually, but there is one book that I read to my gecko every night. <laughs> The dinosaur, it's literally literally just... other prehistoric animals. Yeah, and I go it's that could be you if you were big and <laughs> not so tiny and stupid looking. No, he's your, beautiful. He's this is your family gecko. tree. Yeah, this is your great great granddaddy. Interesting. <laughs> uh, there's and then he just Britney licks Spears. his eyeballs. <laughs> we're saying mm. Sam. Mm. Yeah, what about Britney, Britney Spears? Britney Spears a biography. Uh, Britney Spears fame life bios, a short unauthorized biography, and then Britney Spears the woman in me, where she is uh, shirtless but covering up her breasts, Ooh. and it's read by Michelle Williams. Oh my Britney. god! Now, you know what I'm saying? If this one had pictures in it, maybe. I'd check it out. <laughs> Oh, Sam, but... oh boy. Uh, Sam wants a, a lewd Britney Spears comic book. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and you his know, biography, Sam, this is why you need to go to 4chan. Like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, is biography like just a picture of, it's just every page is a picture of a feed of like what <laughs> that, uh, book is this? <laughs> Is it, there's no feet in there. That's I'm looking a, for that's more a of a bodyography, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Age no. of the F FBI, uh, feet, body inspector. Okay. Uh, yummy. Yummy. Oh, man. <laughs> You're making me think of today I saw... <laughs> I shouldn't even say this, but toes? I was on uh, on a walk today, and uh, do you know about these uh, leggings where they build in like a super tight ass crack? Yeah, you know this. I saw a girl mm -hmm. in those in those today, and literally every guy was staring at her ass, almost angry at her, because it's like you it's. She might as well have had like a, like a fucking like sphincter like like you might as well ha have like a sock to go up your <laughs> asshole. These fucking these things. I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like it. You sound like a grandpa. I've I'm like I'm aghast. I'm aghast. Like, <laughs> were like they doing that thing? I saw the wrinkles. Past? Of her asshole. Okay? Okay, <laughs> Funks? You're telling me? I saw uh... the poop groundhog. <laughs> she had problems. <laughs> you want to talk like about that. eight hours on the streets of New York City? Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> I like watching old men on the subway get as much of a look in as they think they can <laughs> before they get caught. Like, just like... <laughs> you know, they try. They, they definitely try to savor the moment, but they're also like, "This is not their first rodeo. They ride the subway every day, so they know they've got like the clock is ticking." So like um, one, two away. <laughs> I I don't notice because I try not to make eye contact with any men. Mm, it's probably for the best. I looked at them all. Look at <laughs> them all. Work, Gotta I'm size like, up. What can I get for you, sir? <laughs> I remember one time there was a guy standing in front of me in athletic shorts and his cock was like perfectly <laughs> like it was like a fossil. It was like just a clear outline of his. I've seen this on the cock. train as well. God. No. It's like right in my face. <laughs> Incredible. 
It's like you're uh, sitting and he's standing holding the, the strap. Yeah, it's just yeah. like his cock just flapping oh, in God. your face. <laughs> Oh, my room, my roommate told me he was like, "I don't ride." He was like, "I don't ride the subway because if you sit down on the subway, you're literally right in the fart range, you know? Yeah, it's It'll true. Fart right into your mouth. It's true. <laughs> yeah, because I do true. ride it sucking on butts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I, just go... mm. I, hate, I hate. I hate it. <laughs> the subway. I used to. I used to offer a service where people could come over my house and I just fart right in their mouth. <laughs> and I think it's something with like this kind of woke culture now where no one's really into yeah. it anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, but it used to be really fun. Wow. The libs ruined it for you. Yeah. That's right. Canceled you for giving them pink eye, these libs. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm getting a little sleepy. You guys want to? You guys want to call it? A, call it for sure. today. I'll, I'll play an actual video game for next time. Yeah, you time. slackers. I will I find know. more. I'm gonna find more cock mutilation <laughs> Please videos. Don't. You know, Please actually, don't. Actually, next week don't is gonna ever. be next, next week is gonna be a live watching of the BME Pain Olympics. <laughs> I don't know if you guys oh. know that video, but. It's an incredible, it's a very amazing video that, uh, created by a couple of, I think, Japanese guys who really take penile mutilation to the next level. Sam, don't do that. They are artists. (laughs) Sam, your homework is to stay off the internet. Yeah, I want to watch at least an hour. We need to prescribe (laughs) Sam, like... I don't know. Watch Lord of the Rings or something. A little snuggly it's film to, to take yeah, the edge off. <laughs> the only thing about Lord of the Rings is there's no no one shooting themselves in the cock. Um, I can't. Doesn't Boromir focus. do it? I thought Boromir does it. <laughs> it's like, you have my sword. You have my axe. You have my shot off mutilated cock. Thank you, Boromir. You Thank you. Oh, my God. Oops. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, my God. Imagine explaining that one to your parents. Oh. I was just doing a video. It was totally funny. <laughs> Everyone's doing it. You just point a yeah. gun at your dick. It's like the ice bucket challenge. The <laughs> and they're like, it's so like you did iPod, it on dude. purpose. Oh my god. If, I had my, to show if them. my son gets I don't have a son if that happens to my <laughs> son. Is what I'm saying. Yep. He's you're gonna tell him to do what don't Sam like said. It. One in the brain, yeah, one in the brain. You might as well. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's what I'll raise my kid. No matter what you do. Don't shoot yourself in the cock. <laughs> yeah. Do not you got do one it. rule in this family. If you're going to shoot your cock off, I'd rather you do it under my roof where I can supervise. <laughs> Let me watch Don't worry about the smell. <laughs> oh, my God. No. Go to Maslow.xyz. Buy Millicent's yeah. uh, treats and toys. and, and... no cocks. No cock. Totally cock free. No cocks, just butt. Uh, I'm trying to think. Is there any cocks in uh, uh, orange flavor, my comic book? I don't think so. Only the the kind Sam doesn't want to read about. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, that's true. There's chickens. So I guess there is some cocks in there. Uh, Orange flavor dot fun. Check it out. I'm going to start. Did you freeze for you too? Postering soon. Yes. Pushing my comic. Well. Retro. Um, he's ooh. the host. What oh, are no. we going to do? Oh, no. He, I'm sure he's going to pop back in at any second. What Is the this F? our podcast um, I think we have to just see if we can both remember what he says in the outro. If you like what you saw today, go to <laughs> extremely.live. To yes. Doing a good job. Oh, it died. Uh, yeah, go to extremely.live slash donate. 
and send us some uh, shmoolah if you like what you heard. <laughs>